So I will briefly demonstrate another alternative um, for accessing legislation. You can use Lexis Library, you can use Westlaw, or you can go to the legislation.gov.uk website. Um, and this is the, the uh, website that I actually tend to use. So um, we can start by looking um, at this screen. So let's have a look at Companies Act. Um, I'm going to put the year here. 2006. Now you quite often find that actually these responses are generated. These responses are generated when you search in, in Google, and um, you often find that legislation.gov.uk will generate a response for you. Um, but just to be sure that you are generating the response that you you're looking for, um, go through the legislation.gov.uk search engine. Um, so here we have. Companies Act 2006. Now that's the provision that I was looking for. I'm brought to this page, okay? Um, and here you can see um, in blue, because it, it, it's linked for each part, um, the Companies Act. So here, if I click on one companies, that brings me to section one of the Companies Act. The heading is companies, okay? Section one, subsection one sets out um, what company means, okay? Um, and so we have that option. So um, we have the table of contents, that's what we originally looked at. With content, that brings us to the, um, the provisions and we can make our way through them. So that's the introductory text. I've just clicked next provision and been brought to section one. We can make our way through that, okay? Um, now, if you go to the left hand side of the screen, you can actually open the whole act if you want to. Now, some acts are quite long, so it might take some time to load them, um, but others uh, might not be. And it might be preferable for you to do that. OK, so if I go back up to the top, for example, and I type in theft act. 1968. And I search for that. OK, the Theft Act, you'll see it's not quite as long as the Companies Act. Um, so here I've clicked Open Whole Act and it's not taken uh, too long to do so. Um, now, this might be useful because here, if we look at Section 1, it gives us the basic definition of theft. Um, and if you've not already done uh, theft, you'll come on to it. But theft has various different elements to it. Um, and those elements, so for example, the element of dishonesty, are further defined later in the statute. So actually, um, so dishonesty we can hear and see here under section two. It might be useful for, for this type of, of reading of statute to have the whole thing open so that we can we can read it through and then cross reference. Um, but that's up to you. Um, so again, we can return to the table of contents now. Um, that sets out how to access your um, legislation via legislation.gov.uk. Um, just one final thing to note here, you can open uh, as the original version, OK, um, and it will be uh, like this. Now, this might be useful when you're reading through a, a, an act which perhaps has since um been subject to repeals and so on. And so perhaps when you look here, some parts might be missing. Uh, here, if you look at the original version, you'll be able to see everything in full. So let's say um, your, your, um, your handout refers to a provision that you can't seem to find here. You might be able to find it on the left. So let's just have a look um, at a potential example. OK, Marine Insurance Act. Um, now let's have a look here. I'm going to click on the heading. So here you'll be able to see, for example, Section 18, Section 19 and Section 20. They're omitted and you can see the date that they've been um, omitted um, because of changes brought about by the Insurance Act 2015. So we can't see them here. 
but we might want to know what they said. So here we might click on the left hand side and look at the original version and scroll down to section 18, um, for example. So here we can see this is section 18 um, and that sets it out in full so we can see what it used to say. OK, so those are some options available to you. It's worth also noting here changes to legislation um, and so on.